parenting, hoes, drugs, bitches, father figures, bitch niggas, mentors, alcoholics, people that you need in your goddamn life, crackheads, entrepreneur, new crackheads, successful business people, ugly children. Welcome to NTS, which stands for niggas talking shit. So I had a question from um, Jennifer, a college student, and she was asking, why have men become so sissified and women become so much more aggressive? Mm. And um, I've been a witness to this because I've spoken at some colleges and uh, some high schools and the men out there, the young men I see, seem like they've had way too much estrogen that uh, we didn't have growing up. And the women seem to be having um, the testosterone. Yeah, it's a uh, total role reversal. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, when it comes to leading, I see most of the women actually being in the forefront as far as um, who controls the relationships. Which you know, I don't have anything against women who are um, you know proactive. Don't no man but, watch TV like this here. No, no, no. You see no, that right no, there on your stomach no. kicking your goddamn feet, yeah. your chocolate? Knock that shit off. Yeah. Don't no straight man do that shit. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Now you out there with you, you got your man with a boyfriend, I ain't mad at you. Hey, you do what you're doing. I'm just saying, girls, if you come home, catch your man swimming, kick his ass out. That's all I'm just it's a long way to go for that, but that's what I'm saying. That's it's, it's certain traits. You can tell a dude didn't grow up with no man around. Yeah, and, and you could tell that in some shape or fashion that the woman is used to seeing a man be bitched out like that. Oh, bro. Because there's some women I've seen with some dudes that are straight bitches and they cool with it. Dude, dude, okay. They cool with it. The dude that sits in the car while his girl pump gas. I can't stand. I swear to God, I want to roll over and go. Excuse me, baby, can I have his pump? And just no, but what about, throw a match over in there on his what, what, what about ass. what about the woman that's ordering the food for her man at the restaurant, and this dude's sitting there looking? Like, oh no, you don't like that. I, w shut your mouth. He'll take the the uh, what do you call it? The sweet potato fries. Oh yeah, I ain't and never seen that shit. You're, you're not eating meat. I told you no meat. You will have. The Impossible Burger, because we're not doing meat, you little bitch. Impossible Burger and a salad. Thank you. Okay, can I tell you something right now? Okay. Let me, my brain goes a lot of places. I got hired right before we did this. Uh, I, have, I actually have some really good shit with me. I don't know if we can smoke it here. Uh, but it hurt. I don't know if we should do this in a sketch. And I would be the last person to put a man in a dress. I, I'm going somewhere with this. I think you, I think, you know, you're fairly decent looking as a man, no homo. But as a woman, no, dude, man. you are fucking hideous. And not only did I find you hideous as a woman, because I could see that whole scene. We were in Benihana's. I was afraid. Can you imagine having a woman? When this woman this big tell you to shut the fuck up and you ain't eating no meat, guess what, nigga? You ain't eating no meat. That's what it is. I'd like to believe, okay? I'm like, okay, I was a boxer, I was Marines, I was a martial artist, I know a little something. I'd like to believe that if my wife got really mad, I could catch her coming and like cross armor and flip her around, go, all right, baby, now, calm down now. All right, now, come on now, I got you, come on now. Till she calmed down. You try to cross on this big motherfucker right here. That ain't going well. That's not going well. I'm, I'm reaching out to the men who are being abused by women bigger than you. Because I've seen that shit. That yeah. shit I've seen. <laughs> I saw that as a sizzler one time. Where this dude was like that, talking that same shit. Mm, he didn't tell me I can't have no meat. If I want to go do the salad bar, then I'll... <laughs> She just rubbed his head all down the salad bar. And I was like, behind, I'm like, I don't want no salad now. I don't, I don't want, you ruined my sizzler experience with your man's head. It's, and that's a true story that happened. Uh, there are, there are a lot of women who 
unfortunately have had to be thrust into these masculine roles. And I think a lot of times, and it's not their fault, they just don't know how to turn it off. That, that this, this shit <clears throat> at the boardroom? Well, well, letting a man be a man too, you know, at the same time, you know, look, you got that nice outfit on, you got, we used to call them Dukes. Girl, she got, she got them Dukes back there. You know, you say, like oh, the no. homie in school, like, oh. God damn, she got them Dukes. Oh, no. Ooh, you know, it was an a nigga gonna look at the Dukes. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You got ass, you know, hey, yeah. she got this on. I'm a look. Yeah. God damn it, I'm not homosexual. Nothing against homosexual, but I'm not homosexual. Right. So I look at ass. I've been looking at ass since I was a little kid. Sure. I look at, you know, female ass. I'm a connoisseur. Me too. You know, it's very... It's artistic. Love the ass. Love, love the ass, the love walk, it. everything about the shake, mm, everything. Mm, mm. So when you know when you have a man and he looks at that, he that might be a sign that he. You know, I'm not talking about a cold perv, but you know, you see a man, you look at he take care of himself. That might be a man there. But when you got the guy who's in, in, intimidated and afraid, and you pick him, you're picking a weenie, bro. You know what I mean? There's characteristics Bruh. about a man who's a weenie, and I and like I said, I could point him out. You got the guy, he spends over overly hours looking at his goddamn count the abs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The show pony? Oh man. Yeah. yeah. He he got more goddamn rest and bitch face pictures on his Instagram than his broad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This yeah. nigga he doing yeah. pictures like his like his broad. Yeah. But you he look he's a pretty boy. He look good. He oh my god, this and that. He got the tattoos. Right. But he 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 a weenie. Oh, tip number two, ladies. Uh especially if your man is dark, make sure he ashy on his shoulders. That's another tip that you got a straight alpha male. Cause no man ever wants to do this. We don't do that. No. We don't do that. We get no. out of the shower, I don't do no. that. I've never done that. I've ever, I've never, and you, you know, what, you know what's crazy? It's funny you said that because the first thing I thought about when I said when you when you rubbed your shoulder, I said, "Oh man, you know, a real nigga had Jerry curl juice on his shoulders back in the day. That's a real right? nigga. That nigga, right? I mean, he have a starter jacket on. That should be a cold little ring around <laughs> little there. Ring around but that there. nigga was a, I mean, he was a nigga though. Right. I mean, he will bust your no, motherfucking no, you don't head. It. You don't want what it. nigga? What you don't nigga, want? You, my curl ain't nigga. My curl ain't nigga ain't shaking nigga. Right. That nigga will bust your motherfucking head. You do not want it. No. You know, he he mm-hmm. had that or he had the shag. The, the little yeah. shag. Oh, bro. See, niggas had shags. Wasn't none of this. And I'm not, I'm just keeping it raw. Wasn't no, uh, what's his name? Young Thug with dress. Niggas was not wearing that dress shit. No pink hair shit. No purple hair shit. You would get your ass beat, nigga, if you had a little, nigga used to throw a little highlight. Nigga, what the fuck is that highlight? That? Yeah. That's that like Kwame shit. That, nasty that was thing. border. Like, nigga, Kwame was hard, but nigga, that's that. We wasn't playing that at our school. So it starts off, man. These niggas is soft, and you guys are accepting these soft ass niggas, and then you trying to see them do soft ass shit. Ooh, babe, put that. Oh, that's cute. I'm saying, I'm saying, uh, there's a difference between the show dog and the rescue dog in the back cage with the one club foot. Get that dog. Get that dog. You love, you love the club foot dog. Get him. Get him. A little lucky. Give me a lucky. Put it up. Boom. Put it up. Boom. Here he comes. That's your dog. He not a show dog. Stop treating him like a show dog. You bought that dog because you wanted a dog with one foot like that. You wanted a dude you could control. Mm -hmm. You wanted a dude. I have seen women go after this dude. This, uh, uh. Uh, I've I've often heard it say said that uh, one of the reasons women like uh, a lot of gay dudes is because they don't have to be accountable to him. He, he ain't gonna ever ask you for no pussy. Yeah. He yeah. ain't gonna never, never. Not one time. You, uh, uh, he can sit up and talk shit with you about other dudes. I don't know how you do that. But uh, uh, you don't you you don't have to be accountable to him the way you do in a sexually dynamic. And you know, it's not, it, it's not even just young dudes or, you know, in particular, because I've heard some grown men who have been married and these niggas is weenies, man. They sit around and the dude is talking like, man, I ain't had sex with my wife in three months, man. You know, they do the gossip. I'm like, dude, what type of guy stays married like that? What type of man puts up with that? You're at home, you're, you're beating your meat on a regular and your wife is right there. And you, you think that she's not getting hammered by 
Mr. Thunder. Somebody, Cat? somebody else. Somebody, is, yeah. She's gonna get hers. Right. While you sit around it and you make that bread and you bring it home and she, right. you, you, she makes sure she gets her retirement from yeah, your dumb Dennis, ass. Dennis, yeah. What are you doing this weekend? I don't know. It's another. I'm hanging out with my girlfriends. My, yeah, it's just me hanging around with a fistful of Dennis. I said, uh, yeah. I, dude, she, yeah. Mm, your girl. You don't. If you not, then somebody. Especially if you know, you know your girl's sexual habits. If all of a sudden, three months, you know somebody with three months. I've heard you talking three months, and they thinking, "Oh, my girl don't do that." No, she putting her, she putting somebody else's weenie in her to mouth to sleep. She, t- no, she doing somebody else. Somebody okay. else is getting what you ate. See, you uh, used to get it, but you ain't getting it no more because she okay. getting. Somebody don't do else. that. Don't, don't make a little noise. <laughs> don't make, you're a big man. Don't make the little noise. Hey. It's, 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 it's you know, you slap it on the table. It's then. awkward. <laughs> it's getting awkwarder. Is awkwarder a road, word, Anthony? Awkwarder? Look that up. Awkwarder. Because I feel awkward oh, than I did 10 seconds ago. I never heard, heard of a grown man. that little noise with it. Don't do that. Don't I've do never that. heard of a grown man who said, well, you know what I'm talking about. That little noise. Well, okay. You, you ain't never heard of what now? A lot of these dudes, man. I'm telling you, man. When they tell me these stories, I can't believe it. Man, I can't. I, I don't even understand. You can be in a relationship like that. I Well, again, I've often been guilty of this. You can't judge every dude by how you think. It's some dudes that I wouldn't in a hundred years take what they taken. But then again, as I look at my life, I'll just say this. Your ex is a direct reflection of what the fuck you thought of yourself at that time. Mm. Don't be so hard on your ex. He or she ain't shit. Because you wasn't shit too at that point. That's you came. So I I get. I don't know what to tell you about these wishy-washy dudes. Other than there are ways, that I, I think you look for the wrong shit. I think a lot of times women, uh, and and it, it's not their fault. Is it's not something they can control. It's this society has been set up to put your white noise louder than your intuition, so that you can't pick out that dude that's really about it. Now that the, dude that's really on it. At the rate it's going now, with this new generation Z, <laughs> do you think that it's going to get any better before it gets worse? Because I'm telling you now, this next generation, these dudes are not playing tackle football. They're not playing uh, 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 throw to a, a, what did we used to call it, a headhunter. We throw the ball at each other's head, kung fu. They ain't doing no wrestling. They ain't doing nothing. I mean, we used to, there was a lot of tough, tough kid activities you did as a kid that made you tough that gave you character and I don't set up a pecking order it set up a pecking order like certain things in the neighborhood we you know there was a a, 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 a little bmx jump with a little a little a little uh a little malt there that you had to try Mold, to jump, yeah. you had to jump over you know and once you did that jeff you went to the next level mm-hmm. you know certain things you played football you scored a touchdown against the big kids you was now mm-hmm. part of it the, there's a lot of that but there's none of that going on no more so i don't know for the next generation of males, if they're going to have anybody that's going to be an actual goddamn stud. And, and I, I, I just don't see that, what you just said. I don't see that as so horrible to say. And i tell you why. The Chinese circus. Now, I know that seems like that comes out of no fucking way. And you know why? Because that came out of no fucking the Chinese circus. This time you give a chance. Just, just YouTube the Chinese circus. You see these people? These people didn't get trophies for showing up. The Russians didn't get trophies for showing up. They're making a different group of males than what is about to start leading shit now. We are now being led 
by the dude that got a trophy because he could make it from the fucking car. That guy is not the front guy. And I, God love you women. I hate the choices you have. But it's a son of a bitch to try to find a front guy out of a pack of guys who got trophies for getting out of the fucking car. Mm. And I don't know how you're going to do that. I don't know where you're going to start. But if you find yourself interested in a dude, you need to ask him if he ever got a trophy for getting out of the fucking car that his parents didn't give back. Because that's where it starts. It starts with this low expectation of males. We have made the bar so socially so fucking low. low. So it low, is man. so it, easy. I call it the give up culture. Dude. If it don't work, just give up. Dude. The, ooh, you don't like yourself, ooh. just change yourself. Change it. Just cut it off. Just whatever. cut it off. Yeah. Dude, have you looked at you looked at grades? Like high school, the high school grading scale? Do you know that now I think 47 is a D? I'm not fucking with you. Uh, 47 is only a D now? 47% is a D. They are making children wow. to be led by the children of other parts of this earth. Watch. Watch. If you are accepting mediocrity from your son, yeah. you better yeah. teach him to speak Mandarin. <clears throat> yeah. Because it's coming. It is coming. And I really do. I feel so sorry for it. Because it, it's, it's really not their fault that these dudes are are are. Are just there's there's no other because word. that's become their norm. It's, it's it's normal to think that you are someone because you showed up. Nah, nigga, you did not beat me. You did not score a fucking point. You lost. You lost. That's it. There's winners and losers Learn in life. That's it. You gotta accept it, brother. There's winners and losers. Here's what I believe technology has done. From just in this, uh, um, I play music. From just this place. I think music has gone to hell because technology has outweighed know-how. It's overrun know-how. Mm -hmm. it's, it's to the point now where if you have enough technology, you don't need the know-how, so to speak. I was just saying the same thing. I'm listening to Brother Johnson, and I'm listening to uh, some Isley Brothers, mm -hmm. listening to all the different instruments being played in the background. I'm like, dude... But they don't even do that no more. Your no. Commodores. Well, uh, I'll tell you what you got to do, man. You got to look for it. You might have to dig for it. Uh, find you some snarky puppy. Uh, find you some, oh, dude, this bass player, Mono Neon. He's a, he's, he's, he's a, a, a socially awkward genius. I'll go ahead and say that. We're going to leave this shit in. Mono Neon. Have you ever seen the movie Shine? Mm -mm. With the with the the piano project prod, prodigy, this dude was like ridiculous on the piano, but you had to watch him because he was shit on himself. He was just, he was like like that, like he was way out there, but he was brilliant mm. on the piano. That's Mono Neon on the bass. Mm. He's a monster on the bass, young dude, young. Just there are some. My point is that society has made it where you just have to be on an all-out manhunt for excellence. It didn't used to put be so like much that, bullshit. Though. Yeah, and it, it didn't, didn't used to be it like didn't. that. I mean, I lived on a military base, and half the dudes in there was stuff. Everybody, if you're you lived on the base, your dad was a kick ass. Yeah, you know what I mean. The dude, dad, who's a marine, the dude, the army, them dudes. You know, you get up in the morning, they jogging in their little orange shorts and yellow tank tops or t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Dude, th these dudes were about the kick ass. Yeah, your son was not about getting punked or bullied or you know. So you knew that. For the most part, if you went somewhere, you had some kids who were going to have your back. Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays, the kids, I mean, dude, they wouldn't even know what to do. If a situation occurred, they had to step up because you don't have that same upbringing. And I don't know how you get back to that. And um, I think it's like you said, it's going to be a far and few between. It's going to be a very big distinction moving into the future of young men who are born leader alpha males. And young men who are just cold weenies. Well, I think um, it's a social, it, there's going to be a social pecking order that a lot of Americans are going to find themselves on the bottom of. Yo, yeah. Because of what you have taught your children about goal setting, about doing shit 
against your will. Oh yeah, that's what I was what I was talking about with music. Um, there was a time when I was younger that let's just say you wanted to play the guitar because you heard Ron Isley fuck a solo. Other than not not Ron Ernie, you heard mm -hmm. Ernie Isley Ernie Isley destroy a guitar solo. Yeah, whatever it was. So you go down to the to the guitar store, and you pick up a guitar, and you strum that some bitch and go, "Wow, I suck." <laughs> At that point, you make a choice: Am I going to try to master this instrument, or am I going to spend the rest of my life in deep respect of those who do? Yeah. The sampler took that away. Yeah. Now, instead of learning how to play like Ernie Isley. I can just go sample. Now I got that one little part. I don't have to learn how to play the guitar. Yeah, yeah. That sampling technology, that sampling mindset, that sampling metaphor has been stretched over how a group of people now live their lives. They live their lives in samples of other shit. Yeah, they don't. Right. They don't have the the, the original, the OG no, of anything. No, they're not. They're not actually applying anything, and that's why it's like me and uh, Big Ant talk about it back in the day. You know, when I first came out here, and I remember bodybuilding, mm -hmm. and you had the um, what was the one with the little bulldog on it? The shirt, remember um, the workout shirt? They had the old dog on it, and then they had the. Uh, the, the baggy pants and everybody was about being big and, and working out and being, you know, everybody with a stud, you know, you, you it represented being a male. Mm -hmm. But now, dude, I'm seeing some cats, man, and, and I can't believe it, man, and, and how you just, it, it's a totally different metamorphosis as far as young men. And I don't know if it's because of just the progressive, uh, a, a, you know, attack on, whether it's the, the lack of male mm -hmm. or just the psychology behind a lot of, like you said, the participation trophies and um, other things that, that are playing a factor, but it's definitely made a difference. Well, um, I am, I am far, uh, I am far less high than I was when we first started. Have you, uh, Anthony, have you, have you ever experienced that feeling you have right when your feet touch the ground. Like you've been smoking weed and you go, I'm just, that's where I am right now. Uh, we would just, do, my, my point is, uh, you were talking about something very important, but it went right back by me because I was focusing on my landing. When you're high, you have to focus on how you come down. This is, it's like, Okay, and I'm right here. Um, I think that manhood is, this, this ain't even a big thing to say. Manhood has been under attack for over two decades. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. full frontal, if you are a guy, being a guy and what that means, most of that, yes, most of what being a guy means is fucking horrible. Let's just be honest. Most of the shit we like, most of the shit, the ways we talk, there is a me that your wife and my wife doesn't see as readily as when I'm around you or when you're around me. That these are the two. That's that's what being a guy is about. I, when I'm around you two motherfuckers, I don't worry about, about chewing with my mouth open or uh, uh, there. There's a a a meanness that I naturally put away around a woman. There's a, there's a, a, a gentleman that I like to think comes out. There mm -hmm. is a, a chivalry end of me that comes out. I think that has been stillborn in a lot of dudes. I think um, a, a lot of women, because of this femininity, find themselves with no chivalrous dudes. No chivalrous, uh, um, I think chivalry's on life support right now. Yeah, but whose fault is that? Uh, I'm going ahead and I was going to throw that back. Uh, 
a great much of that is women, in my opinion. And I, I think the feminist movement, this concept that somehow because this European social construct has kept them uh, oppressed, that they should somehow ask for equality. And I believe that's a mistake. I believe women should ask for decency well, as opposed to equality. And, and at the same time, I think you, you made a great point there because uh, you, you say you want to have this sense of uh, a male in your life, but you want it under your terms, under your conditions, and as long as you can control it. But you, no matter what you do, you're not going to have the same capabilities as a man. You're not going to be able to hit a man in the face like a man hits in the face. You're not going to be able to run like a man does. There are certain things, so you cannot take that away. And that's why there's a balance. Uh, a woman has softness and men have strongness. It's uh, a, and I'm not saying that it's one of, but that's why you have, you complete each other. and You need somebody that completes that. This shit's dangerous. Young ladies, stop watching these movies where the female martial artist walks into a room and beats up five dudes. Okay? Cynthia Rothrock <laughs> is a monster female martial artist. And she can't walk into a room and beat up five drunk dudes. Stop! Don't do... You, you gonna get your ass beat messing around with... I don't care what you know. You can't take no man's full blast. Here, hurry, put your fist up. Just put your fist up. Okay, now put your fist over here. Look at that. His fist almost too big to give me a black eye. You can't stand up no. to no man. I don't care. Layla Ali. I love Layla Ali. A girl. I know you. Hey, girl. This is Jeff Brown. I love Layla Ali. But Layla Ali is a woman. She's a lady. There's a reason that there are weight classes in fighting. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. I will, teach, I will tell any woman with regard to martial arts, I'm teaching you how to save your life if you get into it with some dude that don't know you, don't love you, uh, uh, has no respect for you, mm -hmm. is trying to take your money, is trying to take your body, is trying to take your life. This is not your opportunity to teach him a lesson. You are trying to get away with as much of your person unviolated as humanly possible. In that particular scenario, you're trying to kick in the balls, gouge your eye and run, scream, whatever is going to get you away from it. Squaring off with a dude is a, I don't care if you have a black belt in jujitsu. <laughs> it's still a bad idea because you got to get him on the ground in your nice shit to get him in an arm bar. You can't get a man in an arm bar standing up. I don't think you can. I think you have to get him down. Don't do that. Don't. That's my whole point. Stop, stop listening to this shit where you see, uh, I, I want to see Queen Latifah the Equalizer. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen it. I heard about it, but uh, this, yeah. yeah. These movies and TV shows where woman, one woman do, beats the shit out of five dudes, that's unrealistic. It just is, and it's dangerous. So it's not. And there's sure. nothing wrong with having a, a strong man as your counterpart, and um, you know, being able to show that you, you know, somebody, some, there's somebody that's your equal, but at the same time, you know, you feel protected. Sure. Because, like I said, I, I've seen it on a flip side where a guy comes into the gym, some girl's ex-boyfriend. The dude who was her boyfriend, he takes off running. I'm looking at this dude. She's getting harassed by her ex to the point where I'm like, you know, is there a problem? And then he leaves. But then the dude who was there with her, he comes back. And I'm like, dude, where'd you go? Oh, man, I don't want no part of that. Oh, what the, what the hell is that? But this is who she's with now? I mean, this is who you have as your protector? Men play an important role in society. And there's a reason why... Certain men have survived over the centuries and have evolved. If you've seen those old movies, when they used to come through there and Conan with the one dude with the big sword, one dude with the big mallet, and they basically, they had dudes who were bitches who were getting beat upside the head, burnt in huts, and they were taking mm -hmm. the women because of... They a, could. Exactly. 
And who would do, there was a stu, the dudes who came through, they, the warlords, they called them. Right. They just ro roamed the country taking what they want. Mm -hmm. So you got to have, you, you still got to have a man with a backbone, in regardless of how you maybe feel about certain opinions. It's a part of just, it's, it's a part of the male sexuality. I don't, um, I said this earlier on YouTube today. Um, male strength is an earth need. Stop trying to circumvent it. It is. It's our, it's our earth need. I don't, and this is not to excuse the fucked up shit dudes have done, dudes do. There's, there's some horrible dudes. There's some horrible fucking dudes. I'm saying, one, not all of us are horrible. Not all of us use our manhood against you. Not all of us are in some position where a woman is, is supposed to be my servant or my footstool. No, That's it. As a matter of fact, to, to, uh, to kind of disagree with what you just said with regard to the word equal. Dude, if my wife was my equal, we would be fucking doomed. We would be doomed. That I, I believe that a woman, a woman, I don't need a woman in my life to do what I can do. I need a woman in my life to do what I can. But what I mean as equal, I mean somebody who provides complementary, who brings uh, value to, to the, the relationship. relationship. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not saying equal as far as you're gonna build a, you're not gonna build a chunk them with me. You're not gonna build a do certain other things I do because I just see things different. I don't operate off emotion, but I'm saying equal in a sense that when I need you to support me, when I need you mm -hmm. to have my back, when I need to bounce an idea and, you know, get a, a an opinion sure. that's coming from somebody that I trust, I can get that. That's my equal. And that's where the game gets fucked up because a lot of times, you know, oh, I don't want this. No, you need somebody like that to balance you out. So it's 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 no, it's no different with the role reversal, you know. You you should ha you should want somebody as far as a man for the same thing as as like like the woman would want, but we don't have that. And then like Ice T, you know, said one time, you know, where most relationships go bad is you have somebody trying to play both roles. You can't be the husband and the wife. Uh, let me be the, the husband. You be the wife, and sometimes listen. Just like it's time for me to listen. And you need to have that, but you can't, you know, you got to know your position in your relationship. And if you want to boss a, a, a dude around, well, you can expect that you're going to have a, a, a shitty relationship and you're not going to have any value there because there's no respect and basically lines are blurred. Once lines gets blurred, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to pull. It's a wrap. You can't pull. That's just done. Mm -hmm. you, you, it's like trying to climb out of a, 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 a well with oil on the walls. You just keep mm. sliding down, mm. you know? Well, I've seen it. I, I, I've seen it and I don't even know, I don't know that I can give advice to an individual in that particular position. The best thing that I can say is to stay out of that position by, by understanding your own wealth and aiming yourself and preparing yourself. Um, and, and I can only come from what worked for, for me. Aim yourself, prepare yourself, believe in yourself that the, un, the other side of you, the other individual is seeking you as you seek them. But y'all going to miss each other if you're not aiming at your best self. Mm -hmm. You need to be aiming at your best. What, what, the person you're supposed, the key to the person you're supposed to be with is not them, it's you. Well, you, you know, too, I mean. If you're fed up with paying cable companies and streaming apps too much money every month, then Vault TV is the solution you've been waiting for. Watch up to 100,000 movies on demand, up to 5,000 TV shows with over 120,000 episodes. Visit us at vaulttv.com. I, I, I would say one of the biggest problems with um, these women dealing with these you know, consider sissified men is that a lot of the men that they have uh, built relationships with have, are men who never had a real man in their life as far as a father figure, a mentor, or somebody to kind of teach them what it's like to be a man. And not to say that a woman can't raise a man, but at a certain point, you need a man to help you navigate through your 
your, your I call them your 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 testosterone challenges. You know things that when you have you know that that pimple on your forehead and the hair in your nuts and you know you start having you know bo because you know your body is you know changing. You, you're, you're changing. You know what I mean. You you got a couple more inches now and you just there's certain your voice change. You got hair on your chin. There's a lot. You need a man to kind of help you. You know guide you through that 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 transformation. So. If you don't have that and you're reacting off what you've been shown by another female, naturally now you're going to have a lot of female tendencies unknowingly. That are not gay. No. That are that the, the concept of, uh, and, and this gets me in, in trouble a lot, but this is true. I believe there is, I believe that there is a, a present and tangible thing known as feminine conflict resolution. As, as they're supposed to be, as they should be, women don't solve conflict the way dudes do. They don't, they don't approach things the way dudes do. And this is not to say that it is wrong. There are things about us being together at this very thing that we are shooting that our wives made smoother from their way of communicating and their way of doing things and that we wouldn't even, we wouldn't even think about how to do that, how to go about that. Those particular tools, tenets, and mindsets, in my opinion, are not enough. They're not enough to set principles in a male. They're not, and I, and it's, it is nobody's fault if you're a single mother out there. It's nobody ain't passing no judgment on you. If you are a single mother and you need some male guidance in your son's life, of course, this is pre-COVID. I don't know when we're going to go back to letting them in. But take your son down to the local barber shop and ask the owner if he minds if your son come down there a couple days a week and sweep hair. Just sweep hair. I don't even care if you give him any money. Y'all work that out. If he's around a station for something, you're going to give him a dollar every time he's sweep or whatever. You, you guys want to work out in here. I just want him to be in the presence of other males on a regular basis. Because in here, at least he's going to see a cross section of all males. If he goes in a barbershop, he's there with as many chairs as there are. That's how many entrepreneurs he's in there with. Because all of them own their own businesses, running them from that booth. You can learn that. You can learn what not to do by who comes in the shop. But you ain't going to learn none of that under your mama. You're going to have to get around some more men. It's even like I remember uh, going to uh, my uncle had an auto body shop. You go there and you sweep up after they don't, mm-hmm. you know, sand the, the cars, the cars yeah. and stuff like that. Or you sand a bumper or you do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Put away the tools. Mm-hmm. You know? it, yeah. um, stuff like that. You know, little things like that. Teach a, a young man character to help define who he's going to become in the future. But these are things that he can carry with him, like life lessons. And you can't get that from a woman, man. Not Mm-mm. for a young man. He needs Not it. all of it. Not all of it. You know, and that's why they said, like, it's a yin, yin, and yang. You know, there's a certain thing. It's a balance of self, you know. And you got to, both of them offer different values to that character development. But, um... For sure, man, it, it, he needs that exposure. Okay, well, well let's, uh, first we got to be honest about a couple of things. Um, and I know, I know single mothers, it's a bullshit job. It's bullshit that's been dropped in your lap. A lot of you have to do this by yourself. But the truth is that The single mother phenomenon has been around for a good, strong two decades. If you're going to say you can raise your son by yourself, then you're going to have to take some of the credit for what's going on in the street. It really comes down to that. Because if you can make men by yourself, then you're going to have to be honest. Because if you can make men by yourself, Because if you are going to lay claim to being able to make men by yourself, 
then you're going to have to lay claim to some of this that's going on in the street. Because these are the men you're making. 